focus on what Washington is doing today uh, here in D.C. And, and it, it's this idea of putting together the relief program. And, and we went out and asked our, our respondents in our poll, what relief measures do they support? And what you get back, Joe, is just un. Uh, believable, overwhelming support for all of these relief measures across the board. Remember, this poll is of likely voters in swing states. These are the people we think are actually going to show up in the states that matter. And it's overwhelming support for all of these elements. For additional uh, $1,200 in direct payments, 80 percent of people support that. For funding for testing, 77 percent support that. For expanded broadband access, 76 percent support that. Aid for state and local government, 68 percent. The, the lowest one of the ones that we polled here is 62 percent for extending that 600 uh, per week bonus unemployment in, uh, insurance payment. That's one that's the lowest one on our list, but it's still overwhelmingly supported by the voters at 62 percent. That may be why you saw President Trump yesterday suggesting you know, he's willing to compromise there, saying, well, we're going to work with, on this with Congress and we're going to help people out. Even this measure that is central uh, to Mitch McConnell, this idea of liability uh, buffer for companies that are dealing with COVID lawsuits, that one doesn't poll very well either. Take a look at the support here. Uh, 32 percent support liability restrictions for companies. Uh, 58 percent, though, oppose that. And that, that's an overwhelming number there deeply underwater for Mitch McConnell on his signature proposal in this overall relief package. So that suggests to you, Joe, that Democrats have some momentum here in pushing for all of these elements. Ultimately, the politics of this are really tricky going into an election. Uh, all of this is money directly into the economy, in many cases money directly into voters' pockets. That's going to be extremely popular out there in the states, and particularly in the swing states, as this poll shows. It's going to be very difficult for members of Congress to vote against that, although we expect a lot of Republicans will do that because of their concerns about the deficit, Joe.